I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and this is your weather video for this Sunday. It's November the 3rd. It's been a while since we've been together. I've been away for about five weeks. Uh, some folks might believe I only do this when there's a uh, tropical cyclone uh, threatening the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, no truth to that rumor uh, at all, but I am glad to be back. And, of course, we're uh, getting an extra hour of sleep early on this Sunday morning as you watch this video, recording this uh, just after 10 o'clock on Saturday night. The weather's fairly calm across Alabama. going to be fairly tranquil for the next few days. Uh, and uh, we're going to get an extra hour of sleep tonight, so nobody will be complaining about that. Now, uh, Tropical Storm Patty snuck in on us today. Uh, kind of thought Patty would be the system coming out of the Caribbean into the Gulf. But turns out it may be uh, Raphael now. Uh, but um, Patty formed uh, west of the Azores uh, early this morning. Uh, got its act together pretty quickly. Uh, started as a subtropical storm, became uh, tropical. Uh, but it's really not anything to worry about. Temperatures in the uh, Azores are fairly cool. The system is moving uh, through the central Azores uh, late tonight. It will pass through the eastern Azores tomorrow. Uh, and you kind of put it the system in motion here. You can see quickly uh, how it moves. And uh, I'll slow that down and stop it. Uh, here by uh, 8 o'clock Central Time, our time, uh, later on this Sunday morning, uh, the center will be well to the east of the largest island there, uh, San Miguel, uh, and uh, moving off to the east-northeast, uh, slowly weakening. Um, top winds tonight around 55 miles an hour. They'll be around 50 miles an hour by morning. Probably will weaken to a depression or lose tropical characteristics during the day or late Sunday, uh, Sunday night as it continues to the um, uh, east-northeast or at least uh, curving east-northeast uh, as it passes uh, through the day on Monday. It will be approaching uh, the coast of uh, Spain and Portugal and um, will eventually make landfall there near the Spanish-Portuguese border uh, early on Tuesday. And that will be the end of Patty. Um, and we'll begin to watch our uh, next system. Now, what we're going to be worried about uh, in the next term, in the Gulf at least, is um, a tropical cyclone that's going to develop in the Western Caribbean. Uh, but for right now, the uh, pattern across North America looks like this. Upper Ridge across the eastern part of the country. Uh, centered around a uh, nice subtropical high there in the Bahamas across southern Florida. Big uh, trough in the west keeping it uh, unsettled and uh, cold out in those regions. And uh, as we go through time, you see lower pressures there in the western Caribbean. You see that system that's bringing... Uh, uh, active weather to the uh, southwest tonight. Uh, we had some tornado warnings there, and um, areas are in Hobbs, New Mexico. Severe thunderstorm warnings. There was um, a tornado watch uh, parts of southeastern New Mexico, uh, western Texas. Uh, earlier this evening, you see that trough uh, by Monday night into Tuesday, uh, beginning to weaken a bit, moving into the central plains, and you see our system there. Uh, forming in the western Gulf of Mexico. The ridge of high pressure sort of retreats a little bit to the east. Uh, we see that uh, 591 decameter high there uh, off the coast of the Carolina, south of Bermuda, southwest of Bermuda, and that's going to steer, potentially, if the GFS is right, this tropical cyclone into the central Gulf of Mexico. But look what happens. It sort of becomes landlocked. Uh, that's probably not the right term to use. Uh, the system sort of becomes trapped. As the ridge develops all around it, it's not going to go backwards, um, but it probably, well, it might retrograde a little bit, uh, but it really could fall apart. Second system there moving through the southeastern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, um, and then uh, moving, uh, you know, toward Andros Island and uh, the larger islands, Grand Bahama. Grand Bahamas uh, as we get into the week two period. Uh, but you, you see just not much happening. More systems crashing onto the California coast, ridge of high pressure out here. So you can see we really are not very worried uh, about the system. 
Uh, more severe weather due today. This is the day two convective outlook, and it looks like southern Oklahoma and the Red River Valley of North Texas will be the most likely location. Um, that really won't move a lot, pushing just a little bit to the east. Areas from southern Missouri, uh, western Arkansas, southeastern Kansas, down through eastern Oklahoma and Texas will see the activity on Tuesday. And after that, it becomes just a, a little bit um, too uncertain for us to predict. Uh, and I don't think we'll see any real significant problems uh, as we go further to the east. Now this is the uh, GFS, that's my model of choice today, showing that uh, ridge of high pressure continuing to pump uh, fairly warm and moist air um, into the southeastern United States. Got our frontal system there ahead of the trough, uh, bringing rain and storms uh, from uh, Wisconsin and Michigan, or Wisconsin and Minnesota, down through uh, Iowa into the uh, central plains back into texas now as we go through the time uh, through the day today uh, showers and storms will break out there um you know in the central and southern plains uh, alabama remains dry we're going to be mostly sunny fairly warm today high temperatures topping out uh, probably around uh, 78 79 maybe 80 degrees in most locations we're starting out in the uh, lower 60s in most areas across the state early this morning. A little bit of patchy fog here and there, nothing really uh, to amount to. Going into Monday, the ridge sort of strengthens to the east there. A little bit of a backdoor cold front kind of trying to head its way. Looking to the southeast there in the western Caribbean, we see that developing low uh, near Jamaica. We'll be beginning to watch it, probably becoming a tropical depression as we get into Monday night. Uh, possibly a tropical storm late Monday night into Tuesday. And the frontal system is uh, slowly progressing to the east there, uh, approaching the Mississippi River uh, during the morning hours on Tuesday. We could see a few showers breaking out here across Alabama. I don't really expect that to be a problem, but we'll have to kind of watch that. That's sort of that backdoor front, uh, its impact, the convergence of it and the approaching trough from the west uh, moving into the area. You see, though, uh, that is uh, getting a little closer to us on Tuesday, late Tuesday night into Wednesday. The system there in the uh, Caribbean is crossing Cuba here by Wednesday morning. The uh, front's kind of running out of steam, though. You see by Wednesday, showers and uh, you know just fairly non-existent uh, along that system. But as we get more convergence, the squeeze beginning to develop between the uh, trough in the front to the northwest and the tropical system to the southeast. Um, you see there by Wednesday night, it is southwest of Fort Myers. Does not appear to be a threat to Florida. Uh, still holding on. You see it do that temporary stall, kind of retrograde thing. Maybe uh, begins to move to the west. Uh, we're getting into Saturday. Here in Alabama, we've got showers and uh, thunderstorms still Friday night. Um, and then perhaps uh, enough convergence and moisture for a good dose of rain by uh, late Saturday into Sunday as the uh, system is absorbed by the front and uh, is shunted off to the northeast. We get into nicer weather uh, for the week two period. We'll be watching that second system uh, tracking uh, near South Florida. Uh, doesn't appear that it's going to be much of a problem uh, either. Um, I don't know what the name is after Raphael. I'd have to look that up. Uh, but as we get into week two, looks like a uh, weak frontal system trying to approach here by Thursday the 14th. But uh, Alabama remains uh, mainly dry. Now, the rainfall amount's pretty decent off the uh, deterministic GFS. But I want to go back and kind of do the Watusi here for a minute. Um, you know, well, let's do that with the winds in just a second. Um, and, and here's how we'll do that. We'll, we'll use the uh, GFS wind forecast. You see, this pretty decent little hurricane uh, as it's approaching um, as it's approaching the western coast of Cuba, the Isle of Pines, uh, crossing, uh, crossing Cuba and into the Gulf of Mexico. It um, briefly reaches 80 miles an hour um, there on Wednesday night. Um, you know, 80, 85 miles an hour is possible Wednesday night. Uh, but it looks like it's maintaining a minimal hurricane strength through Wednesday. Now, by Thursday, it's beginning to weaken. Um, we'd expect that. Colder water, shear beginning to take a toll, down to 60 miles an hour by Thursday night, down to 50 miles an hour by, f by Friday night, and, um, you know, barely hanging on as a depression uh, by Saturday morning, and the uh, main impacts may turn to rain, and that would be just fine. 
Uh, we'll take that all day long. Uh, winds uh, running, uh, highest winds around 40 miles an hour as the system begins to turn to the northeast. Somewhere in there between southeastern Louisiana, south, southern Mississippi, southwest Alabama, western Florida, we got that system. Now, our, our you know, stronger system is this, uh, this one north of the coast of Cuba. Uh, moving through those warm waters there, it could, you know, maybe amount to something, but not much of anything. You see some gusty winds across Alabama there uh, Saturday, but it's really kind of falling apart. Now, we're going to kind of look at his, you know, this from a, a couple of standpoints. Um, you know, where is this thing? Well, the 18Z run, that's the run from 1 o'clock uh, Saturday afternoon, uh, 21Z Friday has it here. Uh, in the central gulf of mexico let's go back one run 12z stronger system more to the southwest um and you know what does it do with it eventually um you know it kind of holds it together a little better but again you know not much you know maybe a weak tropical storm possibly a strong tropical depression you know maybe kind of washing out go back one more um you know one more run and the system was uh, even weaker a little further to the west, uh, just not really amounting to much. So, you know, we'll take that all day long. Now, the European takes a very different approach. Um, you know, it develops it into a, you know, a decent, strong tropical storm, but it just continues tracking it on west. It doesn't uh, have it picked up by the trough. Um, it sort of weakens as it goes, and it's going into uh, south Texas, uh, you know, not until Tuesday the 12th, Monday the 11th, Tuesday the 12th, and, uh, you know, is, is nothing. So, really, this is not anything to worry about, I don't think. We're going to keep a close eye on it, of course. All of our interests on the Gulf Coast are uh, going to want to, you know, keep a close eye on it, um, just in case. But, uh, you know, mainly it could be some uh, nice rain, some beneficial rain, some gusty winds. These are temperatures off the National Blender Models for Birmingham, uh, showing 79 for your Sunday. Uh, hanging right around there, you know, in the Monday through um, Friday time frame, you know, 78 to 81 degrees. That's pretty nice. We'll take it. Uh, 62 to 65 for the overnight lows. We fall back just a bit, um, you know, after next um, Friday. Uh, could be raining here on Saturday, maybe Sunday. A little bit cooler system exits to the northeast, but um, you know nothing crazy. We'll take uh, lower 70s for highs and uh, temperatures in the 50s. Now this is the uh, spread off of the uh, the the QPF plume, the G GFS, uh, showing all kinds of stuff. You know we got four and a half inches up here on the high end to nothing on the low end. The uh, the uh, control is uh, you know showing uh, just over two and a half or really right below two and a half inches the uh, mean of all the ensemble members though is around 1.6 inches so you know what happens here's the deterministic you know showing uh, central alabama getting the best uh, rainfall with that frontal system of the northwest you know tennessee parts of northwest alabama approaching two inches but some of the best rainfall amounts uh, could be over west central and uh, the central part of the state we take that we need it uh, the drought uh, has been pretty significant, and, um, you know, we're really tired of it, and um, we're ready for it to uh, go away. It was a really dry month of October, only 2,500 uh, of an inch of rain in the entire month, and uh, we came very close to being only the second month ever uh, with absolutely no rainfall uh, in Birmingham. So uh, that was pretty crazy. We're talking to a couple of news directors, including our very own ABC 3340 news director, uh, and our friend Matt Ernst, who will be celebrating uh, Texas Tech's big victory uh, from earlier today uh, on Weather Brains Monday night. I'm going to take a, a night off from the show. James will be running it, and it will be a great show. As always, Weather Brains, the weekly netcast that's all about weather. Get it wherever you get your podcast. Let's show the video for this Sunday, November 3rd. Uh, I know it's kind of crazy to even talk about with all our automated clocks we have now, but don't forget to set those clocks back if you got any automated ones, like the one on my wall up here. Uh, I have to roll it back an hour to get dark awfully early uh, this afternoon. That's the only, uh, well, that's not the, I mean, that, I guess that's the downside to getting the extra hour of sleep is that, um, you know, it's going to get dark awfully early.
um, tonight and going forward, but we'll be looking forward uh, to December 21st, or I guess around there when the solstice is, the winter solstice, so uh, those days will be getting longer. After that, we'll have the promise of spring before you know it. But that's, uh, that's your weather video. I'll have notes on the blog. have a complete update on the forecast coming up uh, at noon. And uh, if anything develops, uh, especially in the tropics or anywhere else, uh, you'll hear about it right here first on the Alabama WX weather blog. Have a great Sunday until I see you next Sunday. As I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.